have this idea that science isn't creative. Because I think people tend to put things in boxes. Um, compartmentalisation is a human tendency. So I think people need to move away from that kind of dichotomy where science and arts are totally separate worlds and actually they, there's quite a lot of overlap between them. So what I've asked these artists and illustrators to do is come up with a design, a picture that they want to paint on a canvas that's essentially one metre by one metre. But the one metre by one metre is made up of uh, 25 centimetre square petri dishes and essentially tracing uh, their design in, onto the petri dishes using a solution of um, bacteria. So the science behind it is really about the bioluminescent bacteria that makes light. But the catch is that the bacteria are essentially invisible. You won't be able to see them until they grow up. And so once they've grown up, um, wherever they were put on these petri dishes, that's where they will glow as well. And then the, the artwork will basically glow in the dark. I'm a little worried that it might not look like I planned it to, but I guess, I guess that'll be part of it as well. This is totally different. What I do, it's pieces like this size, and this is a meter by a meter. It's totally different, so. It's somewhat like invisible ink. I can't see the results straight away, but I hope it will turn out okay. My art piece, it was about painting infectious, or not infectious, harmful bacteria with harmless bacteria. So I did typhoid because it is very pretty under a microscope. I really like Japanese woodblock prints because they've got really clean lines, but they still manage to portray quite a lot of depth. It's a nice surface to work on, but it's just hard to know how much you use. So I went on that theme of working with things that glow. Underwater deep sea creatures comes to light with that sort of thing. They're quite abstract. Uh, but you can see like people, you can see glasses, you can see animals, you can see a lot of things but you have to go on the details. I've always been fascinated by things that glow in the dark, but I've also been fascinated by microbes. And so finding out that there were microbes that glowed in the dark, that just seemed like, cool, <laughs> great. And then I've been very lucky to turn that into a scientific career. So we use these bacteria to try and find new medicines because we're basically running out of medicines to treat really nasty infections. And I think a lot of people think of microbes as germs, you know, they're sort of disgusting, scary things that make us ill. But also some of them are beautiful. And what I'm hoping and expecting is that the artworks will be beautiful. Um, and they're only that because of what they're made out of, these, this glowing bacteria. So I'm hoping that people feel a little challenged, um, but also a little in awe of these amazing creatures, a bit like I am really. <laughs>